In this presentation, we're going to discuss uh, the definition of the unit step function with center at A. And then we're, go we're going to compute the Laplace transform of the unit step function with center at A greater than zero. So first, let's take care of our definition. the unit step function with center at A. Let's imagine our uh, independent variable, which in our case will be T, uh, on that number line A the unit step function assumes the following behavior to the left of A and up to A it's zero after A is one so this function, which we're going to denote as u a t, is then formulated as zero for t less equal to a and one for t greater than a. So that's our unit step function with center at a. Now what we want to do is we want to compute the Laplace transform for the unit step function with center at A greater than zero. That's our next step. So let's do this as an example, compute. the Laplace transform of u a of t for a greater than zero. Okay, so by definition, the Laplace transform of a function, in this case u of a t, it's simply the limit as t approaches infinity of the integral 0 t your function which in this case is u a of tau e to the negative s tau detail since our function u of t is actually defined piecewise what we can do is we can break this integral into the piece that goes from uh, 0 to a you see in here I can view this as the interval beginning at 0 to a and t greater than a we can view it as the interval from a to infinity now in our definition of the unit set function with center at a we have no restriction on the on the independent variable but when we're dealing with Laplace transforms our value of the independent variable begins at zero so when I view this I'm put it in the context of the Laplace transform. We only care about a, the definition of our function beginning at zero. So with that in mind, 
we can break this integral into two pieces. So we're taking the limit as t approaches infinity. <coughs> so first we're going to go from 0 a and then we're going to go from a to t. So from 0 a what am I going to use as my function u of um, of tau, u a of tau, 0. Then e to the negative s tau d tau plus now from a to t presuming that t has exceeded a we're using one so that's one e to the negative s tau d tau When we evaluate the integral of 0, from 0 a we get 0. So that piece contributes nothing. So continuing the computation, we now have to evaluate the limit as t approaches infinity of the integral from a to t of e to the negative s tau d tau so here we're taking s as a, as a constant with respect to t or tau in this case so integrate is just a matter of um, integrating e to the negative s tau which is e to the negative s tau over negative s or simply negative e to the negative s tau over s we're evaluating from a to t and we're taking the limit as t approaches infinity so if we evaluate at t we get a negative e to the negative s t over s minus minus negative becomes positive when we evaluate at a we get e to the negative uh, a s over s As far as t is concerned, the second term is a constant. So the limit as t approaches infinity of a constant is the constant itself. So you just get e to the negative a s over s. Now, as t approaches infinity, the first term will approach zero provided a s is a positive number so this is the first limit which is if you, if you take the limit as t approaches infinity of negative e to the negative s t over s that will become zero provided s is greater than zero so in summary we can say now that the Laplace transform of the unit step function UAT the Laplace transform of the unit step function UAT is e to the negative AS 
over s provided s is greater than zero. Okay, so we have that now. We have found the, La the Laplace transform of the, of the unit step function with center at a greater than zero. Now we can put together, we can put this now in our list of Laplace transforms. Our, 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 here is more list that can actually be expanded some more. But in addition to the Laplace transform of one, which is one over s provided s is greater than zero, the Laplace transform of t to the n, which is n factorial over s to the n plus one, provided s is greater than zero and uh, n is a, an integer uh, that's a, a non negative integer like zero or one or two, etc. And we also have uh, the Laplace transform of e to the a t is one over s minus a. We could also write the Laplace transform for sinusoidal functions, such as the Laplace transform of um, sine of at, the Laplace transform of cosine of at. Now, what we want to do is uh, use these various Laplace transforms that we have now to solve a higher order linear differential equations. So we will exemplify this. We will use Laplace transforms uh, to solve any initial value problems. So solve the given initial value problem using Laplace transforms. So the example we're going to take a look at in a follow-up video will be the following y double prime plus y prime minus y equals f of t where f of t will be a piecewise defined function so on the one hand it will be 1 for a t less equal 1, greater equal to 0, in t for t greater than 1. Initial conditions, y of 0 equals 1, y prime of 0 equals 0. So, in a follow-up video, we're going to uh, go ahead and solve this uh, initial value problem using Laplace transform. This is for this is it for this presentation.